Today is going to be another hot summer day. Here with some tips on staying hydrated while working out is Jenny Mae Claremont from Fitness Together in Latham. Good morning. Good morning. Well, very good advice, right? Because you could actually get hurt when it's this hot and you go running outside, let's say, for example. My wife loves to run outside in the heat. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people do enjoy running outside in the heat, and a lot of people are motivated right now by the Olympics. But what people don't realize is that the heat causes you to fatigue faster, mm -hmm. and it can cause your heart rate to increase at a faster rate. So you really want to be careful when you're out there in the heat, and you want to ease into that slowly. So if you're not used to working outside, working out outside, you want to start out slow, start with one to two workouts a week, maybe mm -hmm. 20 to 30 minutes a day, and then start to progress from there. All right, so that's one. Of, so you have some tips here. That's one of the tips that you you, you want to give folks. Yeah. What are some of the things you could tell folks to 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 stay, you know, to to really be safe out there when they're doing any kind of exercise? Because people, especially you know, kids play outside all the time in the heat, you know. So what are some of the other tips that you can give them to stay hydrated and remain safe out? Well, there? the biggest thing is just what you said: stay mm -hmm. hydrated. Um, what, not not being hydrated can cause a lot of issues. One, it causes you to fatigue faster. But worse, it can lead to things like heat exhaustion and heat stroke. So before you do go outside, you do want to make sure that you're drinking two to four glasses of water an hour or two before you head out, and then bring that water with you so you're drinking it throughout your workout and after your workout. And, you know, there are some special drinks out there, Jenny, that, you know, people uh, just love to drink, like, uh, I don't know, Gator Gatorade. Uh, Gatorade. Yeah, those things. I mean, do they work? Is that, you know, to replace your electrolytes? Or is just plain old water is good enough? Plain old water is good enough. If you are out for a hike today and you're not accustomed to the heat, you could experience a blood sugar drop. And then the Gatorade could help replace some electrolytes and sugar. So it could be beneficial there. But for the most part, straight water is going to be good enough to keep you hydrated. All right. So anything else people can do to uh, remain safe other than just stay hydrated? Your clothing is actually very important. So mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you avoid cotton. Cotton just absorbs sweat, and it becomes very wet and heavy as you're working out making your workout harder. So you want to wear lightweight, moisture-wicking clothing. Make sure it's light in color, and that will keep you cool and comfortable. So should you go out there running in, like, let's say, the kind of fabrics like, um, uh, what am I looking for here? Not cotton, but what's the other fabric? Um, they ha like Cool Max fabric okay. would be one. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of polyester blends today mm -hmm. that are very good at wicking that moisture away from your skin. Mm -hmm. um, nylon might be another good choice because it will dry quickly, and it won't feel so heavy. So if you start feeling a little funny out there, what do you do? I mean, you know, you're running, all of a sudden you feel a little lightheaded, which what's can happen, you know, th that's yeah, what's going to happen. happen. Yeah, it can happen. Yeah. Well, if you're out in the direct sunlight, you want to make sure that you find some shade, make sure you get some water, and if you feel like you're going to pass out, then that is when you want to reach for that Gatorade or one of those, um, a vitamin water, those types of things. Are there some days when you should just plain old, just avoid uh, going out there and exercising in the heat because I mean today's gonna be 92 degrees. Today is today. one of those days If you're not accustomed to being out in this type of weather You might want to go out go into a gym if I or just wait until tomorrow But especially if you're suffering from any breathing issues like mm -hmm. asthma or that type of stuff today's One of those days you might want to avoid working out outside all right, so what about cold? Anything uh, about the cold weather? I know that's coming. Don't cold. run in the cold. <laughs> so, yeah, well, that's a whole other set of issues. And, but hydration, again, is always very important, as well as your clothing options in the cold. Those okay. are really important. Maybe too. you'll come back in six months and tell us yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. Okay. Jenny May Claremont from uh, Fitness Together in Latham. We appreciate you here. Thank, thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you so much. Good tips.